Hello, I'm Danny Sriskandaraja, Secretary General of Civicus. It's always a pleasure to talk to friends from Partos, uh, an important member of ours, but also uh, someone who we enjoy collaborating with, particularly on initiatives like the Spindle. I wanted to share with you a little bit uh, from our latest State of Civil Society report, which was published in early June and covers a review of the health of civil society all around the world, drawing heavily from our new online tool, the Civicus Monitor. I'm afraid that once again, it makes for very sad and depressing reading, that in a majority of countries around the world, in over 100 countries, conditions for civil society are bad and getting worse. Only 3% of the world's population live in countries that we classify as genuinely open for civil society. And you in the Netherlands are lucky enough to be in one of those 26 countries. I suppose just as worrying over the last 12 months is the trend to see threats to civic freedoms in mature democracies in countries like the UK, the US, Australia, Poland, Hungary, where we've seen challenges uh, to the freedom and independence of civil society, to un uh, threats to our basic freedom to, to a peaceful assembly, um, interference and regulatory um, threats to our freedom to associate with each other. If you want to know more about our analysis of the state of civil society, please look at our monitor or indeed download our state of civil society report for 2017. This year, we've also taken the theme of looking at civil society and the private sector. And we've got 27 fantastic guest contributions from all around the world that cover various aspects of this relationship. For me, one of the key lessons is that we in civil society and in progressive parts of the business world have to work together. We have to work together to convince businesses not to undermine civic space. We have to convince businesses to support and nurture civil society. We have to encourage our colleagues in civil society to develop mature and constructive relationships when they work with, uh, with business so that they're not co-opted by businesses um, to whitewash or greenwash uh, what they're trying to do. And perhaps most important of all, we in civil society and progressive businesses have to work together to deliver a more just and sustainable world, especially at a time when many governments are failing to live up to the commitments that they made only a few years ago in agreeing Agenda 2030 and the Sustainable Development Goals. For those of you who are new to this notion of civic space, I hope that you take away one important lesson, which is that threats to civic space are important to those of us who work in civil society because it affects our regulation, our operating environment. But they're all so important to all of us as citizens because the moment we start to undermine our civic freedoms, it's also the moment that we start to undermine democracy. Without a healthy environment for citizens to come together, speak out, take action, we can't have a healthy democracy. And I hope that you will play your part in supporting civic power in the Netherlands, where we need to maintain an open civil society and civic space, but also across the world, working in solidarity with each other to defend the rights and freedoms of citizens. Thank you very much.